morning, what's up? How was your morning? Did you get sleep in? I didn't. I had to do CVs because I got an email saying, please finish the CV. And I did. So I've done that CV. And I did this CV. And then this happened. The shed is going to go down. Go, 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 you're almost there, go, go. Oh! I'm okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. My shed's gone. Thank goodness it's gone because we needed a new shed. There were so many holes in it, so many bugs in it. I mean, that shed kept our bikes, tools, activities, tents, tunnels. I'm so glad that shed's gone and we get a new one. And I'm so glad my mum and dad found at the company that would deliver this new shed to the Highlands Islands. There were so many companies that said, we will not deliver this shed to the Highlands Islands of Scotland, only England, Wales, and South of Scotland. Come on, it's not hard to get up here. England is nice, and Wales is nice, and South of Scotland is nice. But come on, Inverness is nice too. The Highlands Islands are so nice. Maybe a little bit hard to get up here. But Inverness is nice! Come on, come to Inverness! And give us a shed. So we found a shed, and I can't wait to show it to you guys later on. But right now, my dad's still destroying the old shed. But anyway, I'm not going to help him. I need to go out, give CVs to shops, and also go to the UHI. I'm going to this festival called Hashtag Digital. I'm going to this festival because I went to a tech meeting yesterday. This tech meeting is like every last Monday of the month. So I went to this tech meeting and they told us this this festival on. And it's called Hashtag Hello Digital. So I'm going to go check it out. And I can't wait to check it out because it actually explains why reporters were there on Thursday when I was doing my first Danger Depths time. So now I know why reporters are there. I didn't have to ask them. I found out. Thank goodness. Or else I would be questioning and questioning why they were there. Is usually getting more popular? No, it's not. It's just there was a festival there. So we're going to go and check out this festival. It's called hashtag hello digital. So let's go to hello hashtag digital. Darren, stick it over on. Over. Have a little look around and see the sofa beside you. And then, if you'd like to slowly get up and have a little walk around. If you want to come towards the patio doors, you can actually come and stand over near the patio doors and you can have a little look outside. I see grass, but it's a bit blurry. <laughs> Um, you you can, but there is a door. You can actually just walk through the door physically and then stop. That's it. Can you slide a card in next one? I can do something. Yeah, if you want, I can put. Really good infamous castle. Thank you very much. Uh, and then you've got that. Uh, they've also got. Ooh. Edinburgh Bridge. Oh, it's two then. 4th Bridge, 4th Road Bridge, yeah. What about the new one that's coming? That one I don't have yet. Oh, that's a The points, so I've touched a point on the plan around here. Yeah. Again, that will drop us into that position. And it's like a window into a kind of virtual world. So it's just like the dome in the... It's like the dome, it's the same content. So it's the same 3D kind of games-based content. Uh, 
better. Yeah, 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 it does. Just, it's a, obviously an iPad screen, is a yeah. beautiful quality screen, but also we're able to render it to a really, really high kind of photorealistic definition. Uh, whereas the dome is live, and it's a bit more like a game where you're running through in a kind of live manner. Did you try the headsets? Because there's a headset version as no, well. No, I just had the remote on me. Cool, okay. But there, I did hear the music in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's me finished at the Hashtag Colour Digital Festival for today. I'm going to head back on Thursday, see what's there on Thursday. Day, but it was really good. I went into a virtual world, I put something on my head, it came out of reality. I went into a world of a foot basketball court, I went into a different house, I went through a door, <laughs> all scary, and I went on a stage and when I was doing the first thing of being in a virtual world, I didn't know what to do, but it turns out I was just going to the real world. It wasn't a game, it was just looking at something else. But it was really experiencing, I mean, nobody has that at home in my family, I mean that thing you put on your head. Nobody has that in my house, or my family, so it was kind of a different scene. A different world. <laughs> but right now, I'm back in reality. I'm gonna head home and just have my computer. Because the time is right now, it is eight minutes to four o'clock, so why not head home? Cycle so home first. Hopefully, it won't be a long cycle. Just in test, because I'm just gonna get one of these for I cycle all the way home. Mini mixers! I'm home and look what just arrived! It's the new shed! The new shed! Mom's been home all day just waiting for this new shed. Thank goodness it's come. And see that dog right there? That dog is looking after the shed before Dad builds it. It's a good job. Keep up the good work. Anyway, I'm going to head in and see what is in this box called My Mini Mixers. Okay, so I'm in my room now. I'm checking out My Mini Mixers. So we're going to check what's inside. There is two characters. And there's so many to collect, there's so many to collect, and it's so hard to open to, but um, got open now. And there's so much to collect, like I said, like, you can collect brave, friendship, sweet, smart, wild, bubbly, sassy, and sick characters, all for my mini mixers. My mini mixer, sorry, this is very new toy, so I checked out yesterday and I got these two. This is a soccer boy and this is a glasses girl. If I put these together and pretend they're in a movie, it'd be like, where is my football? You should have gone spec savers. <laughs> you get it? Because the adverts for spec savers are always about like someone losing their glasses and really you should have gone spec savers. Or about a guy who needs glasses because he can't see. He should have gone spec savers. And I have gone spec savers. I mean, these are the glasses I wear from spec savers. So thank you, spec savers. <laughs> so, one of the two characters are in this from my mini mixers. Let's see, shall we? I'm going to open it with my teeth, sorry. There we go. Easy. I got a same girl. Glasses, great. I've got two girls who are expecting savers. Same girl, great. So, what's the other one? Please don't tell me it's the boy. Please don't tell me it's the boy. It's the boy. Man, I got the exact same pair. That's a really disappointment, but it was only £2.50, so it's cheap. So, now I've got two soccer boys and two glasses girls. That's me back from life group. There was so many people at life group today. There was 26 people in a room. It was so big. And life group, if you don't know, life group is a people who get together and talk about God. That could be Christians, non-Christians, new visitors, could be people from the same church, different churches. We always get together and we talk about God or topic or something in the Bible or saying, well, anyway, and today we're looking in the Bible at a passage. We were looking at Matthew verse 5 to 14. But I'm going to read out right now from Matthew 9 to 14. Because we had to interpret this prayer. Like, you may say this prayer, but what would you really say to God in a prayer? So this is what it says in the Bible, because it's what you should pray. Our Father in heaven, holy by your name, your kingdom come, 
and you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us for our debts, as we will also have forgiven our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but from the evil one. If I was praying to God, I would interpret into my own words and just say to God, Dear Lord, thank you for the lovely day. Please forgive me for any wrong things I've done. And please help me forgive the people who I need to forgive. And please do not lead me into temptation from the evil one. As I do not like to be rude, and I don't like to lie, and I like people to trust me. Amen. Yeah, I don't like to be rude, or say the wrong thing, or say a lie. It's not good to lie. No, it's not good to lie. I want people to trust you, and I want people to trust me. So if you ever meet me on the streets, please trust me. Trust me. Don't worry, I've got your back. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's what we learned today. Like, group, almost 26 of us, there were so many of us. I mean, we, it was a big room, and we were all scattered around the room. And then but there was no space left. We couldn't make two circles, like, one in the middle and one out. But, um, it worked out. We had a good time talking to each other. We talked, like, an hour. And then we talked to each other about different stuff. Like, where are you going? Are you going on holiday? Do you need prayer for anything? We actually have started writing down the prayers. Which I think is a good idea, because that way, if we ask God to help us with this problem, and then we see what happens after, we can write it in the prayer book. Because we just started a prayer book, so I think it's a good thing. And right now, since we're talking about prayers, I want to pray for CYC. CYC is a place in Inverness and it's closed right now and it's not good because um after school kids would go there. Kids like around 13, 17 they would go there so they could hang out with friends and CYC is closed at the minute and they have nowhere to go after school but home and sometimes parents don't like their kids being left at home because they could throw a party or they, they could do anything in the house, you never know. So I'm praying CYC we, reopened again for the youth so they can go somewhere after school so I pray for that and I pray that I will find a job and my best friend Tammy will find a job and I just pray for a lot of things but that's three things I'm paying for right now CYC me find a job my best friend Tammy to find a job so yeah anyway now I'm gonna have to head up to bed and tomorrow I'm just gonna video edit stuff so in the day tomorrow. But thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Whoop! Whoop! Ooh! Bye bye bye!